Yes, you did all of the school. You went through the whole credentialing program, you got your teaching degree, and you became a teacher, and you know like in your soul, in your heart, that this is not for you, that you are looking for something else, that you know, you know that there is something else for you. I want to make sure that you understand to follow that urge and there is nothing wrong with you. When I say I never thought I was going to leave the teaching profession, I never thought I was going to until I started listening to myself and myself guided me out. Understand that if you are worried about leaving because you feel guilty or you feel bad or you worry about the kids, here's a really great question to ponder. Why are you not trusting the other teachers that are choosing to stay? Why are you not trusting that they're gonna be great why are you only trusting that you are the only good teacher that these kids are going to experience? I really had to answer that question for myself. And I will say that there are fabulous teachers out in the profession. I worked with some teachers that are just like, amazing, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You are exactly doing what you are supposed to be doing. And there are teachers that absolutely love their jobs. And I am so grateful for them because my own children are gonna be having those types of teachers. My nephews are in the, with those teachers. My future nieces and other nephews that are coming are going to be in this education system. And thank God, thank, thank the higher beings of light and everything else, like whatever you wanna say, that there are beautiful souls on this planet that are choosing to be in our classrooms. Thank God. Because there are people like me who it's not in their highest alignment to be in the classroom. I It came really apparent to me that I am able to create a lot more impact by doing things on my own and being my own boss and becoming my own and becoming an, a digital CEO running a company, running a digital education, financial literacy, self-empowerment, self-fulfilling, self-alignment company, that I can actually create so much change as well. So if you think the only way you can create beautiful change and impact on this world is through the classroom, I encourage you to expand yourself a little bit or jump on a one-on-one -on -one call and we can talk all about it. But your opportunities, and your potential is limitless. So if you are in the classroom right now and you are just like, I don't know if I can make it another year. I don't know if I can stand strong all year again. I'm so drained at the end of the year. I'm around coworkers that just are draining my energy even more. I have parents that are constantly messaging me and I have no sense of boundary. My self-worth is down the toilet. I feel like a shell of myself. You don't need to stay in the profession. No amount of guilt is gonna keep you from living in alignment to having a filled cup. We say all the time in teaching, like you need to fill up your cup. Well, what if filling up your cup means leaving the classroom? Are you willing and ready to take the leap? If you need help, I'm here. And again, I will say it one more time. Thank you for the teachers who are staying grounded and aligned with their mission and what they're doing here on this planet. This is mine. Helping people, empowering people to see their full potential and to live out their dreams and what they feel and what they see and what they vision. It is the worst living a mediocre life. And I've lived it. And now I'm not going to anymore. I refuse. <laughs> So it is okay if you do not want to stay in the classroom anymore. It's it's a-okay. It's okay. Leave and create the space for the teachers who do want to be there. Seriously. Seriously. Trust me, it's a hard pill to swallow. But once you swallow it and you embody it, you never will go back. Like, you will actually feel happy. Since I left on my last day, I haven't thought about it again. But I have had some really intense dreams I have never dreamt about students or the classroom really. I've been having very interesting dreams and it just shows the transitioning that I'm going through and the ego death that I'm working through and rediscovering my identity. It's deep, it's deep work, but I am here to help you. Beautiful. I'm a 
energetic teacher. I teach all about the energetics of life, how to use energetics to better your situation, to live a very high vibrational life, to be the beautiful mother or parent that you are, to be the beautiful wife and partner that you are, the beautiful daughter, the beautiful son, the beautiful, beautiful person that you are with yourself. There's such beautiful life on the other end of taking the leap and leaving. It is absolutely night and day. And if you know, you know.